this is the middle elevation for the main branch okay main branch means which is the 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 branch of the duct which is directly from the equipment which is coming directly from the equipment so so this will specify when will uh, place the equipment okay leave this one for branch also specify the shoe neck and will specify middle elevation when will place the equipment okay, go to the rectangular here you have to select the size okay so we do not generally use 75 in our air distribution work 90 also 100 we use we do not use 110 125 also not 40 no And 50 we can 25 can check mm, 250 275 not used this 75 25 also not used it is difficult to prepare such precise size numbers so you just check the number which are in for uh, hundreds or fifties 75 not 500 550 600 63 now it is okay okay these are the duck sizes means so these check. ducks these ducks we use are not used no, these duct sizes are difficult to prepare, so we do not use these uh, these sizes which are in 75, 25, or 50s. Sorry, 50s mm -hmm. we use just 25 okay. and 75. So we have all uncheck all those which are in 75, 25, 75, okay, 25. We have uncheck all this. So okay. we don't want to use these sizes in our ducting. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Duct settings begin. Pipe setting will discuss when we'll draw the piping work. Click OK. Next is the uh, air terminals. Okay. So air terminal means wait. Yeah, air, air terminals. The first is the diffuser. Have you seen this one, diffuser? Yeah. Okay, so this is called a diffuser. And here is the duct. Okay, this duct connect with the diffuser and supplying the air to this area. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so, and this is called a grid. Ceiling grid. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. In ceiling grid, we fix this diffuser. And in some cases, if you are having uh, no for, without false ceiling, then you can use this oval duct also. This is the type of connection that we made with this. This is the branch duct. Okay. And this is mm. the main duct. Okay. And here is the diffuser. This is circular type. And this is rectangular type. Okay. Okay. Also in air terminal, we have grill also. If you don't have a space here, you can uh, pay, you can apply a grill also without using a diffuser. Okay, it is cheaper than this one. Okay. Okay. So these are the air terminals in Revit. I will use. Okay. Firstly, I am taking this one. Let me. Uh, can, can you re, can you can you uh, repeat the mechanical settings one more time, please? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
yeah in mechanical settings uh -huh. we have done two things okay first is the conversion in okay. conversion we have selected the first the uh, system type okay some classification and we have defined the duct type that we have made okay okay similarly for branch also this middle elevation will specify when we'll place the equipment mm -hmm. okay okay so this will come when we place the equipment next is the rectangular means the sizes the sizes which you are going to use okay. in our project so we okay. have uncheck all the sizes that are not used in early okay that are difficult okay. to fabricate mm -hmm. okay only those two yeah yeah next few few will discuss uh, in the next class okay means the pressure drop calculations are also there and other settings for oval duct and round duct okay okay next is this is for pipe so when we will draw the pipe then we'll discuss this one okay okay go to this flow plan and here is the option for air terminals okay okay select the air terminal now first thing that i show is here in this space the calculated cfm is 1232 well that okay. it is diffuser right no no this is space uh -huh. requires this was cfm for okay. proper cooling uh -huh. okay okay so what we do we place the terminals as per the cfm so select this one so now i am placing one diffuser here after placing okay, wait so after placing select this one and here is specify the height i am specifying the height to 8 feet okay uh -huh. next select this one oh. copy this one select copy okay these arrow means this is called a supply diffuser because it is uh, uh, it is removing the air outside it okay if it is uh, if it is a retentive diffuser then the arrow will be in inward direction okay we have placed the diffuser now the required cfm is 1232 okay yeah. 1232 we are taking a round off to 1200 okay for 1200 okay. just divide the cfm into four diffuser so uh -huh. we need 3 300 cfm per diffuser no yes Okay, then select the diffuser and uncheck this one. Okay, first what you have to do, you have to select this one, and here is the option for select pin. Also select this one, pin this. Like this one. Okay, now we have selected the four diffuser, and here is the here we can specify the flow. Flow of each diffuser, okay? So flow for each diffuser is three hundred. Three hundred. Okay. Now when you select this one, the the flow is candid. Next, we'll place the equipment. Okay, for this area, we are using 
and FCU to pull the required space. Go to the system. Here is the option for mechanical equipment. Select this one. Now first see this is space. Uh, this is space is having a capacity of design cooling load 9.12 kilowatt or you can change this unit into tonnage okay how to change type u in go to the hvac and is the option for cooling load in terms of refrigeration click ok similarly for heating load Okay, heating loads are generally in kilowatts and BT. Okay. Okay, so cooling load, click OK. Now for this space, we have a cooling load of three ton. Three ton. Okay. Okay. Now, as per the cooling load of this space, we'll assign, we'll place the equipment. Okay. Okay. Go to the mechanical equipment load family okay. MEP air cell component terminal units okay. now here we have different type of units And select. I am using this one. Fan coil, fan coil unit, ceiling ducted. Okay, ceiling ducted, chill water. Select this one. Specify the height. Does nine feet. Okay. Now you can see a section also. Flip this. Go to the view. Yeah. Now, first thing you have to see where is the mouth of this unit. Okay, here we have in means the return air will come from this side. Yeah. And here is the out. Okay, means the supply air will uh, will come from this side. Okay. So you can change the orientation by pressing the space bar. Okay. Now we have correct enough. From this side, we'll have the outside deck now. Okay. Now select this one. Here is the fan coil unit chill water ceiling 600 CFM. But how much CFM do we require? 1200. 1200, no? Yeah. Like this one from here. Okay. Now this is fan coil unit of 1200 CFM. Go to the section. So you can adjust this up to this uh, slab height you can move this to the upward okay nine foot five inch now you have to connect this equipment with these air terminals okay so how to connect yeah any doubt in up to this how to place the uh, air terminals and equipment no. Okay. It's clear. Yeah. Prakash, we have enough? Yep. No, no, it's clear. Okay. So next, place a terminals. 
placing an equipment creating a supplier system okay so how to create a supplier system select any one of the diffuser okay when you select it there is the option for duct or create system okay okay uh -huh. so click this one now we'll ask you about the system type means supplier or return air automatically because the diffuser is supply it will take the supply air okay now okay. you can name this name the system name as per the equipment okay suppose this is fcu now you can <clears throat> give the name to this uh, here typical park edit type duplicate 1200 cfm fcu 01 1200 so for different places we have different fcu now we are naming with the fcu 01 fcu 02 for different places okay okay fcu 01 click okay now when you creating a system yeah select this one uh, supplier okay system name you can specify as fcu01 Zero one supply air, okay. Generally, this is the naming convention for the systems. First, you define the equipment and define the system type, okay. Now check this open system editor and click OK. Now you are creating a system for this equipment. This equipment will cover these four, these three diffuser number. then go to the add system and select all these okay now when you have selected all these these are a part of this system now we'll have to select equipment also and select this equipment click this one and select this one okay select finish editing system so now you can see all the all the uh, all the elements which are in the system are become green because we have assigned the system for supplier as green okay understood okay uh, even though the fan kyle unit also yeah wait the fan kyle unit also same category uh if fan fcu 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 yeah fcu is in the FCU supplier fcu also in, in the same same category like diffuser Yeah, yeah, it is in the system. It is a part of a system. We have created a system in okay. which we have air terminal and a mechanical equipment. Okay. 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 Next is we'll uh, what is the topic next? Adding and removing the air terminal that we have done, and adding the equipment to the system. Okay, we have done generating layout automatically with different routing solutions. Okay. Now we will create, we'll generate the layout. first what we have to do select this one and just move this out when you click on this duct will come out of this okay select this duct just see the size 10 ft 3 inch okay now just copy this size copy this elevation and paste to the mechanical setting that we have specified na that will paste after the placing of the equipment is here and this okay understood or not no okay wait uh we have to define the height of the main branch and main main branch and the sub branches okay okay so 
first we have to know what is the height of the duct which is which is leaving from this fcu na no? yeah so how to know the height click on this one the duct will come out of this na no? yes yeah, that's the bottom you are um, we are measuring the bottom or top we uh, just like this one will show okay, you okay okay bottom okay middle elevation okay middle okay. Elevation. you can change also uh -huh. middle elevation okay, okay. okay. Mm. now the middle elevation is 10 ft 3 inch just copy yeah. this one yeah go oh, bit uh copy and go okay. to the mechanical settings conversion paste here the middle elevation okay now delete this one just we are confirming the elevation of the duct okay now you have to generate the layout okay when you tap okay. yes why we did did that just now we why we take that uh, elevation uh, we And take the elevation because the gen, the layout will be generated automatically okay so how 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 this system will know the height of this equipment Of the main duct. Okay. Because we have places manually, na. No? Yeah, yeah. So just to confirm the height, we are taking from this. Now, okay. when you hover the mouse over the system and press tab, okay, this will show all the things which are in this system. Okay. Select this one. Okay. And here is the option for generate layout. Okay. Now it is showing the routing solutions. Okay. We have six options for selecting. Blue shows the main branch. Okay. Okay. And this this shows green color shows the sub branch, and yellow shows the error. Okay. If you check this one, it will there will be an error, fitting error. Okay. Okay. Other Porsche. Yeah. Next, select this one. Okay. Okay. Or select this one. Understood? Yeah. yeah. Now, if you are opting for this one, suppose. Okay. If you are opting you for this one. one. Or no, no. Generally, what we use. Uh, yeah, this one is okay. So now, But in this case. Some error. Yeah. What? It has some error, right? Yeah, it has some error. So this uh, is the error due uh. to the fitting area. so okay. you can adjust it how to adjust make this diffuser in front of this one mm -hmm. okay now it is okay select this one generate layout now it has some error from this portion na no? yeah so this all this if you are opting for this solution you can edit this we have a option called edit layout Okay, click this one and select this line and move it to this side. Okay, now it is okay. Yeah. Oh, and we work. Also, you can see the elevation is ten foot three that we have entered now. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So this will take from there. Okay. Select this one and click Finish Layout. Okay. Yeah. Also, on this side, 
the side. Okay. If you change the orientation, if you change the discipline from mechanical to coordination, it will highlight all the things. Make it realistic. Now the duct is not visible now because the floor is there. So select this one and just down this. Now you can see move this section box to this side just to see the equipment. Okay, now it is fine. Yeah. So this is we have done with the automatic layout routing. Okay, any doubt? Yeah, Prakash, any doubt? No, it's clear. Okay, okay, next. This is the automatic routing. Next, what we have to do, select this one. And just to, you have to uh, cap this one. Na? This is the open area. This is the open portion. You have to cap this. Just select this one. Cap ends. Cap will be placed there. Okay. Go to the 3D view. And you can see the cap. Okay. Any doubt in this? No. Okay. Less than one minute is left. Okay, we have discussed the generating layout automatically with different routing solutions. Okay, any doubt in this one? Different routing solutions? No. Okay, okay. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Uh, so that is for today. Next, we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Ramesh, did you understood? Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the way to controlling the heating and cooling that to the room, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah.